it's okay. I've made my final trip and I've moved in. Don't look at the porch. To our homestead and this is what we showed up to, all this long grass. And as most of y'all know, we don't have a mower. <laughs> but you say, hmm, I, I think I hear a mower though. Uh, the gentleman who came to mow for us uh, told my husband to come pick up his mower. He just had surgery. He's also a veteran. And so my husband is out there on the zero turn trying to get all this mowed. It's just insane. What, this is one month of growth because he just mowed it a month ago. So, FYI, anybody looking to do a homestead, buy an excellent mower first. Get the mower out of your way. That is a big expense and trust me when I tell you, we should have done it. We should have spent the money and bought us a really good mower before we threw down money on this house. So, all right, we'll come back when it looks way better. Today, we're putting up a little temporary fence, a little dog fence, until we have enough posts to build the one around the backyard. We're going to tie onto these trees, and we've got a post there, post there, and my husband and I are putting this together. Just don't want to forget the camera, so I'm... So from this range, I'll have all this area late at night, in the middle of the night, to let them out. And I'll have a little more control over getting them back in. The tricky part will be keeping it mowed. <laughs> and then I need access to the washer and dryer, which is in that workshop room that will eventually become my shop. It's just not close enough to even being even remotely ready yet so we're learning a lot about we need more time resources and funding to accomplish even a small task so that's just a little footnote there for anybody make sure you save for your equipment to run your property And sometimes building something temporary to get you through is a good idea because then it helps you to be able to sit down and really plan better. So we'll be back once the uh, fence is in a position to where we can let the dogs out. Okay, here is the completed fence. It's just temporary. This is just a temporary fence and we've got an area where I can pull it back to open it up to get the mower through here. So for right now, it goes uh, straight down there at the right before the gate. And then we've tied it into the two trees over here and then tied it to the building. And then this is from the view from the back patio door. We've tied it to this post, which is removable with some nails. I just pull it back to get the mower through there. And then once uh, we have time, we're going to put the fence all on the backyard and up the side. Uh, we don't have enough posts, so we're going to divide posts, but this is a temporary thing. 
Believe it or not, the uh, raccoons still get in here at night, and uh, I am fighting some sort of, I think it's a tent worm. I've been researching it. I'm going to show you one. They're crawling everywhere, and I think they're coming from the oak trees. I'm not sure, but not to gross anybody out, but here are the remnants of I'm having to kill them off with chemical, and then I thought I could go into an organic product to keep them back. But there's one crawling, and I really, I think that that is a, I, I think that is a tent, a tent caterpillar. So, they're everywhere. They're crawling up the walls and into the cabin, so I'm, I'm almost positive this is coming from some a tree of some sort, maybe the oak tree. And um, they're really, really bad over here. This area, we've got to pull all that out. That's all rotted. So I'm able to push them back, but they're just in droves, and I know they're going to be moths or something. So if you know what these are here in Arkansas, I would really appreciate knowing. Here is a really good view. And they're everywhere. It's not black. It's not um, super hairy, but uh, they're everywhere. And they're not easy to kill. <laughs> I've also tried neem oil. If anybody's going to tell me to do that, and it's not working. So, anyway, that's our cleanup, temporary fence. And I was able to get. Uh, all the most of the backyard mowed this morning at 6 a.m. It's about a little after 8, so I was able to finish all the yards. It takes about two hours just to do the three yards, and then we got to do the limbs and the bush hog for the rest of that over there. So, okay, thanks everybody.